Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. So, I decided on the perks and I'm actually going to pick up Brony on the tanks because they could really use extra fatigue. And they are using pretty heavy armor now, so this will help quite a bit. Yeah, that's 75 fatigue on Gontram and also 75 on Randolph. As for Egbert, I'm going to grab Killing Frenzy. It will work nicely with Berserk when we get kills. So, there it is. And let's check the contracts, shall we? Yes, let's. We got something in here. That's not too bad. Drive off brigands. We can do that. Why the heck not? Let's do it. It's not very far away either. Off we go then. Now, I do have a few knives. So, if we find a leader, I might try to use them. Oh yeah, there's a leader in here. Okay. That sounds like a pretty good opportunity. We'll see. So, here they are. They did have some poachers. So, looks like they will stay back and shoot us. Okay, sure. Good luck with that. These aren't even marksmen. So, let's move forward and shoot them from over here. Sounds good. So that's 19 dudes total. Quite a few. Here, nice one. Alright then. Now they are moving forward. Yeah, sure, I'm okay with that. That's exactly what I wanted them to do. Bring it on. We can actually hit that raider right now. We could also pull him towards us, which is not a bad idea, actually. No, I missed. Oh well. It was worth a try. So... I can still do some damage to that thug in the front. Yep. So, do we want to use Spear Wall? It's not a terrible idea. We could use Spear Wall, why not? To maybe prevent them from claiming the high ground and to do some damage in general as well. So, let's move in and do some damage. Oh, he's already dead. That was quick. To be fair, it was only a tag. These guys are not exactly strong, to say the least. Okay, let's keep moving. As for Cory, Can he do anything? Not a whole lot right now. He can go here. Oh, nice, that will force some of them to flee. One of the raiders is actually fleeing. Not even a tug. And where's the leader? Is that this guy? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, I can try to use the knife, but we'll see about that. Doesn't look like he's using anything impressive, to be honest. But I suppose we'll find out. So, I think that's pretty much it. Yep, that's it on this turn. Alright then. Yeah, quite a few of them will get to move first, and then we'll get Egbert. He did have footwork, right? I'm pretty sure he did. Oh no, he didn't actually, okay. Let's just move him down the queue for now. Yep, it's just a tag right here. That won't really be a problem. And there's the spear wall, it worked. Come on. We can try to kill this thug up here. Oh, never mind, they swapped. Okay, oh, this is also a leader. They got two leaders. Wait, what? Interesting. That's a bit weird, but okay. Alright, I need to get Egbert out of here. So, I don't know about that. We can just try to kill Barabbas, but... I think I'll need rotation. Right, well, we'll have to destroy his shield. That much is obvious. Not much point hitting the raider, he's already fleeing. Yeah, that didn't do anything, unfortunately. Okay, well, I can't really use rotation right now. 
with anyone. Uh, maybe I can actually... no. Unless I manage to move out of his mana range. No, I will not. Oh, there we go. That actually worked. Here. Egbert is safe. Let's hit this guy anyway. We will lower the morale if we kill him. There. Yep. He's going down. And I'll use shield wall here. And let's hit the shield. I can't really knock him back right now, so not going to do that. Let's hit that guy in the back. And we can try to hit a thug with Egbert. Is there an easy target anywhere around here? Maybe this guy. Nope. Oh well. And that's pretty much it. Yup. Okay, sure. I guess that will do. So now a lot of them will get their turn. We should be fine. But they do have quite a few raiders and they got a little bit of high ground. I don't like one of their leaders on the high ground. Although, I'm not actually sure if this is supposed to be a leader or not. I mean, he does have a name, but didn't the previous say it's just one leader? I thought the previous said one leader, as in singular, leader, which is always one. Otherwise, it would have said leaders. I have no clue. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just focus on the fight. So this guy obviously needs to go. We need to destroy his shield. And then also take care of this stuff. Okay. Yeah, we still got 16 dudes to deal with. This is not going to be that easy. Yeah, missed. Okay. We need some kills on this turn, like badly. An easy target here. Yep, that's a good one, yeah. That works. Let's move forward. And try to stun, maybe. Here, that worked nicely. And then hit him. So, destroy that shield. He is fleeing now. I could try to use a knife. Uh, Randolph doesn't have one, never mind. Let's hit him. No, let's hit... Wait, they are all fleeing now. Interesting. There, got one. It's looking good. Better than on the previous turn. Yeah, I think we are fine now. We should be... Oh, hold on. Yeah, Oscar is in trouble. Did Oscar have footwork? I don't remember. He might have. And not doing anything with Egbert yet. Okay, let's try to kill the raiders up here. Yep, there we go. He's down. Now, it's really tempting to use round swing, but then I'll hit my own people. So, honestly, I'd rather not. There, we'll hit the raider. And, well, not much else I can do right now. There's another kill, nice. So, 11. Come on, any more kills? Probably not. Let's take the high ground ourselves. Can we get another kill? Possibly this guy. There we go, got him. Nice. 10 more. Shield wall. And let's take care of this. I'm just going to rotate him out. So, like this. That will do. And another one down. Nice miss, bro. <laughs> yep, it's pretty much over, I think. They are still trying, but clearly not hard enough. Maybe kill that poacher, that would be nice. Or both of them, preferably. They could still do decent damage. If we don't take care of them. 
See, that's why I don't really want to wait with this dude. Unless we can take care of the portraits and then deal with the leader. But I don't know. It's a little bit risky, I don't like doing it. Can't hit anyone. There, he's down. And we missed twice, with a spear too. Great. Seriously now? What the heck? 74%. Oh, he's fleeing now. Alright, well, I could try to use the knife. What's our chance to hit? Oh, I can't even use the ability that we need. Because that's 20 fatigue. Alright. Here, got him. We still got the poachers to deal with. That was a bad idea, moving forward with Oscar. Yeah, that was actually a terrible idea. And this guy will just kill himself. So that knife was just useless right now. Yeah, this was a really bad idea, moving him forward. And we missed. With 90%! Come on! Great. Just friggin' kill him. Yeah, this could actually still be kind of bad, or are they running away? Looks like they are running away. Okay, sure. We got this. Back away with Oscar. He's the wounded one. Everyone else is mostly fine. Yep. We are just about done here. Yeah, it's over. What did we get? We did get a heater shield, so that's not too bad. Okay, sure, I'll take all of that. And we got... Two level ups. Let's go get paid, shall we? And let's pick up the level ups. So, first, Sigbold. I might turn him into a tank in the future, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Let's get some fatigue. But let's pick fairly neutral perks for now. So right now we got Brawny. I could pick up Rotation. I could also pick up Colossus. That's definitely a possibility. He only has 56 health. Let's actually grab Colossus regardless. So there you go. And let's go get paid. We still need some gear. But we also need 10,000 crowns. I might go exploring at some point. Okay, so 7,000. Let's sell some of the junk we got. We certainly don't need it. Yeah, don't need that. Silverware, 381. Oh yeah, that's good. Sell all of that. Yep. I'll keep the arming sword for now. We don't need any of that armor. We will use the heater shield. Definitely. Let's just sell that sword. And we can sell some of this armor, I suppose. Probably all of it, to be honest. Yep. Okay. And some of this junk. There, that looks reasonable. Let's equip the shield really quick. On the Gontram. He has 75 fatigue. So he can use it. There you go. And let's look for some new contracts. Oh, wait, what? Wasn't there a contract in here just a second ago? Well, apparently it's gone now. Let's go check the other towns. So, there is something at Grimstead. Oh, it's an escort. I will actually accept that, why the heck not? We'll get provisions, so it's fine. It's a good way to travel. We are going to Gunborg. Where exactly is that? I'm not quite seeing it. Oh, it's here. Actually, pretty close. What's happening? Yeah, we do have a contract to fulfill. 
Oh, they want us to rob them. No, I'm not doing that. No, I'm definitely not doing that. Let's fulfill the contract. This will take a moment, but it's pretty close. Well, the road is a little bit weird. Okay, something is happening. While marching down the road, you find a man with a broken cart by the side of the path. By the wagon, there is a donkey standing idle and as defeated as a donkey can look. The trader looks a little better than that, and your appearance seems to have scared him. He rears up, backing away momentarily. Have you come to take my things? If so, you needn't kill me. Take what you want. Okay, take everything we can use from the cart. Let us help you get your cart on the road again. We have no time for this. Let's help him out, why the heck not? Here, we got some bread. Sure, why not? And we are almost there. So that's more money for us. There it is. We are actually pretty close to 10,000 now. Oh, wow. Okay, that's probably a war contract. Actually, it's not. Well, hi, let's do it then. Why the heck not? It's not even that far away. Let's do it. So, that will be enough to give us 10,000. Okay, got them. That actually took a while. I've been running around this town for like over a day. Some orc young and some orc warriors. Yeah, we can handle that. Let's do it. We should probably be careful, however. Yeah, this could easily mean five orc warriors. Which could be dangerous for sure. Alright, well, we we'll let them come to us. Because snow. Definitely a good idea. Alright, bring it on. We could use spear wall. Maybe not yet. Yeah, let them come closer, it's fine. There's a warrior. Looks quite fancy. Alright, just end our turn. And let them come closer. And another fancy warrior, interesting. So that's five warriors and five orc young. Just as I thought. Alright. There. Hit him. Not for a whole lot of damage, but alright. This could actually get pretty rough. Their shields are pretty annoying to deal with. So now I could move forward with Spearwall. Let's actually do that. Here, Spearwall it is then. And let's do some damage. Can we kill one? That's just an Orc Young. There we go, he's down. Nice. Good start. Bring it on. Let's move forward one tile, that's fine. Yep. Bring it on. Will they charge us? Probably not until the next turn. Here, nice hit. Pierce chest. Forward. Uh, oh, hold on, I still have the knife equipped. Whoops. Definitely didn't intend that. Okay. So here they come. This guy doesn't have a shield, so we'll try to kill him first. Okay, no damage from the warriors yet. Okay, nice one. We actually forced him to withdraw slightly. Nice shot. Okay, let's focus on this one, because again, he doesn't have a shield. So we might be able to kill him. Or at least it will be easier to kill him rather than the others. Yep, looking good. We got stunned and we're bleeding, but it's fine. Famous last words. Let's try stun, maybe. No. There we go, it worked. Good one. We might need a bandage for Holstein. Okay, so let's see if we can do some damage. Poke him around a little bit. Yep, spear wall is still working. Not anymore. So let's go for shield wall here. 
Nice one. Didn't quite kill him, but at least we're doing some damage. This is definitely going to take a little bit of time. And we need to be careful, we could easily lose someone here. Five warriors are dangerous. But it is a 3000 contract. So that's to be expected. I didn't expect a walk in the park. Nice, we got that one. So down to eight enemies, but pretty damn dangerous enemies. Okay. Let's hit the Orgion. He's almost dead now. There we go. I don't really want to move forward right now. Let's stay where we are. And then... Yeah, this is going to get rough. That's the one warrior we can kill the fastest. But that doesn't necessarily mean quick. There's Overwhelm. Yeah, they can do this. That's one of the more annoying parts about the orcs. About orc warriors, at least. They can push you back and they charge through your lines. So, yeah, this one. Let's poke him around a bit. He is almost dead. At least gravely wounded. Well then. If he wants to do that, he will definitely go down. Mind you, the others can also do that. And Herman's shield is gone now. Not good. Certainly not ideal. I might have to back up with him a little bit. Yeah, now Randolph's armor is almost gone. This is going to get pretty rough. Do we move forward? I don't know about that. He does have footwork, so he should be fine. Okay, let's try. And hit the shield. Overwhelm. And we got him, nice. We can still take a swing. Let's use split shield. Okay, decent. As for Herman, well, there's not much he can do right now. He can stay here, that's about it. Let's move him to the end of the queue for now. But I don't think that's going to help a whole lot. Probably not, no. He might actually be in trouble. He has two orc warriors flanking him. Which is not great. Yeah, he certainly needs help. Okay, armor is gone. And he's wavering. Yeah, Hermione is actually in trouble right now. Well, I can rotate him out. And not on this turn. Yeah. Well, fine, let's wait until the next one. Fortunately, he's dodging a bit. There, we got the shield. Nice. So that guy is going down, and now Erdling's shield is also gone. I definitely need shield upgrades. I think that's the first thing we'll do once we finish our ambition. Definitely. Nice. I mean, not a lot of damage, but I'll take it. Now we can use rotation like this. Good. I might still use him for something, but let's be careful with that. And shield wall. Cory will probably lose his shield because, well, he's using a pretty small shield there. We need someone with a bigger shield. Okay, looking good. I like that. Can we kill an orc right now? Maybe, maybe not. Got the shield, nice. It might be a good idea to back up slowly. Yeah, let's back up slightly. Because, you know, Holstein is not exactly a tank, I'm just saying. There we go, that orc, good. We are not safe just yet. But it's looking better. It's all warriors at this point. Wait, is it? Uh, no, four warriors, one orc young. Now we can move in with Herman here, so that he won't have more than one 
orc warrior adjacent. He's still fine, he has 58 health, it's just that he doesn't have a shield. But he can do some damage. Here's that warrior without the shield. Yeah, we need to be careful about Holstein, I wouldn't want to lose him. Yep, Cory's shield is gone, as expected. Alright then. So, four orc warriors. Yeah, I don't know about this. Just hit the orc young. One of the warriors is breaking. Maybe we can make them flee. But I don't know. We would have to kill one of them. That one is the closest to death, I think. Well, no, this one is the closest to death, actually. If we get some really good hits, we might be able to kill him. But I think he has too much health right now. Okay, that's a good one. He missed twice, good. Get rid of that stupid shield already. Come on. There we go, he's fleeing, perfect. And 90% chance to hit. There we go, nice. Didn't kill him, but he's gravely wounded. Okay, this is really good. We're not safe just yet. We still got three orc warriors. Oh, yep. Yeah. Is he actually dead? No, he's just struck down. Okay. Well, like I said, orc warriors can be dangerous. Let's hit that orc young. Some of the others should start fleeing soon. That's what I'm hoping for. If we kill one more warrior, that should make some of the others flee. There we go. Not quite what I was aiming for, but that was good. Let's try to kill the orc young. There, he's almost dead now. I can't quite finish him off though. There, now he's fleeing. Okay, let's be careful here. But we did almost win! Still, that's five warriors. That was nasty, as you saw yourself. It's a big step up from Orc Young, obviously. But we got this. Hopefully the permanent injury won't be too bad. I guess we'll see about that. Still, we're not done yet. Let's not get overly excited. Too soon. Not moving in with Herman. Keep him in the back. Come on, guys. Make them flee. Surely it's not that hard. Yeah, Cory's armor is almost gone. I don't think he should be here. We are so close to done. There, overwhelm. Nice, okay, we are done. They are both fleeing. Good. Well done, everyone. Let's finish this. And go get our money and fulfill our ambition. That was quite a fun fight. There. And he's dead. So, we got some level ups. And what's the permanent injury? Minus 10% initiative. Oh, that's basically nothing. I don't really care about that. And this way, we can keep him in reserve and he won't mind. That's definitely a good thing. So, let's pause for a second. Let me see. Let's move Grimwald in. That was Randolph. So, I could turn Sigbold into a tank now. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's do that. So, we'll move Randolph into reserves. I will grab his gear really quick. So all of that. 
Sigbald will be a tank. Because he doesn't have any perks that would be like exclusive for a damage dealer. He can be a tank with this build quite easily. Yeah, we'll have to repair that armor, that's fine. Half his fatigue now? 68. Uh, wait, helmet. 62. That is still fine. And we lose Grimwald. And I'll give Randolph some gear. Uh, not the pike. Does he have weapon specialization? No, he actually does not. But he is definitely tank, so let's give him tanky gear. Military pick. Okay. So let's swap these guys around a bit. Yep. So, level ups. Auto in first. Let's see. Yeah, he only has 60 tome less skill. And he needs more resolve because that's low. Let's get some fatigue. As for the perks. Not quite sure what he really needs. I'll have to think about that one. We got quite a few options here. We could go for something offensive or for something defensive. I'll think about that. Next up we got Cory. Mala skill, mala defense. Actually wait, do we really need mala skill? Maybe if we want to swap the weapons. He doesn't actually have weapon specialization yet. So we could get something interesting. Like a military pick, for example. If we get hammered specialization. Where's hammered specialization? Right here. Destroy armor and demolish armor. Inflict 33% more damage against armor. Shatter gains plus 5% chance to hit. So what if we give him a military pick? Because that would be really nice against enemies like orcs or any heavily armored enemies. Like, you know, noble house enemies. So that could work. Oh, and he needs a new shield. Here you go. And Herman. So, hold on. Oh yeah, Cory. Do we keep that then? And grab Hammer Mastery? I think we should have at least one person, or exactly one person with Hammer Mastery. It won't be super useful against enemies without armor, and there are some, like Unholds. But... Not only is it really easy to destroy armor with this, it's 200% effective against armor, and 50% of damage ignores armor. So let's go with Hammer Mastery then. Okay, yep. Hammer Mastery it is then. And we'll pick up some weapon skill. Mala defense. And probably fatigue. Yeah, his fatigue is not amazing. We can grab that. Then we got Otwin. Uh, oh yeah, I'm saving that perk for now. We got Oscar. Not worth getting plus one mala skill. And let's get defense. I'm thinking health and fatigue. So that's that. Yeah, I'll have to think about the final perks for our damage dealers. This guy already has Berserk, so I could pick up Killing Frenzy. We could also pick up Overwhelm again. Who has higher initiative? That would be Otwin. So we could give Otwin Overwhelm. That would actually... Oh wait, he already has it, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Alright, I'll decide later. Holstein, level 9. Weapon skill, definitely. Yeah, these are kind of bad. Yeah, I don't know. We will pick up melee defense, but then what? I'm actually thinking resolve. That seems to be the best option. Plus 2 hit points or plus 2 fatigue feels like a waste. But he could use some resolve. 
Okay, sure. And one final perk. That's going to be Berserk. Uh, or actually, should it really be Berserk? I'm not convinced Berserk is that useful with her great axe. I don't know about that. I'm going to decide that later. So let's go get our money and fulfill our ambition, shall we? Yes, let's. We need to go back to Gonborg. So see you in Gonborg. Also, I literally just ran out of tools and supplies, but I wanted to make sure we'll have enough money after paying everyone. There it is. So that's 10,000. The board has changed. House Horn took Wade Bleak, okay? So can we finish this? What's the price on tools and supplies here? It's decent. Let's buy one stack to continue repairing things. There we go, done. We gained renown and we gained morale. Alright then. So then we'll get a chance to pick up a new one. And that's also going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.